say, Judith, you've done really well on roads for Auckland because we have. Well, Cross City not. Tunnel in Sydney was a PPP yep, and went bankrupt exactly. owing $687 million. Macquarie Bank. <laughs> That's right, and Indiana and Chicago was a PPP That's and has right. built toll roads that would be tolled for a hundred years. Right. And while in Britain, the PPP plan to fix London's underground ended up costing the government five billion after the companies went That's broke. Judith, we... remind me again why Michael Cullen thinks PPPs are such a good idea. Because the EMA keep telling us this is a solution. Uh, Macquarie are Bank... they right? No, I don't think they are. <laughs> but I'm happy to yep. have the information. And the big question is whether we get the tunnel at Waterview yep. in the next seven years or we wait till about 2015. Uh, the big question is whether we double the new, uh, the new market viaduct um, now or hmm. a bit later. And we'll the use PPPs to do that? It's a possibility. Right. What I'm saying yeah. is the PPP issue, the, the tolling issue is on the timing. The other issue is the Victoria Park viaduct. Nikki, My what? argument is I do not think Aucklanders will vote, vote for tolls, but they will vote to speed it up. That's what the petrol tax Nikki, is about. Nikki, one, one of, one of National's advisors on roads is former party leader Jim McClay, who was executive human of uh, Macquarie New Zealand, a branch of a major Australian builder of toll roads. Because of the clear conflict of interest in such an arrangement, can National categorically promise that it will not sign a contract with Macquarie or its subsidiary companies to build roads in Auckland. Well, you know I can't, you know I can't answer that because yeah. look, I, I'm not I'm not our transport spokesperson. Okay. All that I can say though is two things. I want to say yeah. Na both National and Labor have committed to public-private partnerships. That's, that's okay. On the so that's that's on the record. I'm going to have them. Uh, yeah, but okay. but we have that's... them in terms that don't allow a private finance company to milk a project forever and to milk the users of it. We have private construction companies, yep. and my question to Jim McClay has always been, Jim, where can you get money cheaper than the government can? There is no shortage of capital. Is that Look, a good point? Because uh, well, where, where can you get the money cheaper? Look, at the end of the day, I believe that one of the reasons, and people talk to me about it a lot, mm -hmm. that one of the reasons that we, we are on track to win this election is because people are sit, sick of sitting in traffic and they it's are. bad for the environment they are. and, um, and there is time, it's time that we have the, a real infrastructure investment to do something about it and we've well, committed to that. We, we have put we've more money into roading in the last that's, that's three years. That's true, but I, I mean, and even and I get sick and of and and in, 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 in traffic. But we're for Christ's yeah. sake, we've got a city the size of Dunedin. Yes moving to Auckland every three years. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me where we'd like to put the cars? Even if we had the level of investment that yeah. went into Dunedin, for the first time in history, we have the investment coming into Auckland in terms of our population. It is making a difference. It's not enough. Yep. But when you have this huge deficit on infrastructure, which is because of Muldoon's marginal seat no, retention schemes look, over all those years, the National here we Party go. has put blaming, no investment. Blaming Muldoon That's for right. the current Bill situation. Birch. You've been in government for nine years. Yeah. Right. Of the day, and I'm very proud of what we've done. We Nikki. have we have fronted up with I'm the money very... in terms of infrastructure investment, what? and that will get that will get a what? moving. We let's, have let's, let's 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 quickly Words wrap this. Words are cheap, Judith, Nikki. Judith, Words are really cheap. Judith, money is not. Judith, Judith, what is your vision for Auckland? What My is your vision, vision for Auckland for? is to be a great place to live and work, and an international hub where the children and the grandchildren of all of us will have great, high-paying, high-skilled jobs. And why should Auckland go Labour? because Labour has delivered for Auckland, Labour will go on delivering for Auckland. Uh, the fact is, in the New Zealand Parliament, there is uh, about a third of us um, who, are, who are Aucklanders, mm -hmm. but there's always two thirds against. We've got to make the case for Auckland nationwide, and that's what I've been doing for the last 18 years. Nikki, what is your vision for Auckland? My vision for Auckland is a place where people want to live, and they want to grow up here because both from an environmental perspective, both from an economic perspective, it is a great place to live. And I think that National has the policies in terms of infrastructure to solve some of this um, ridiculous situation in terms of people uh, sitting in traffic. We have the policies in terms of law and order, to help people in South Auckland who are currently really struggling with the, the um, violent crime increase in, giving them jobs. in South Auckland. We also have the policies in terms, we have the leader in terms of um, growth who can take us to a country uh, and also in terms of tax, tax relief whereby people are actually wanting to live here rather than moving to Sydney and London. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, that's Let's Be Frank this week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you both Let's to my guests for coming along tonight. I didn't realise that was the name. Is this Stephen Frank? No, no, no. <laughs> Lord, no Lord, no, Lord love, certainly not. Uh, coming up next right now, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Matanga with this week's World Music Show. Good evening. <laughs>